Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be going through the last of my lip products. Of course, these are the lip products that I store inside of my Alex drawers. The rest of my lip products are sitting over at my vanity and my vanity clean out is slowly approaching. So if you haven't subscribed already, please be sure to do so down below. That way you don't miss that video. Okay, so let's go ahead and just jump right in. If you guys did watch my previous video, then you're probably wondering what these are doing here. I felt bad that I wasn't able to get through everything in my last video, so I thought I would go ahead and bring these back and swatch them for you since I wasn't able to do that in that video. So this one is in the shade Kava Kava and in case you did miss that video these are the OCC lip tars and there's Kava Kava. I probably should have picked a different finger but sorry about that and it's just a really pretty orange or warmer tone type of peach color. It's not like a light creamy nude. It's definitely a lot more on the warm, true orange side. So really, really pretty. I love these OCC lip tars. I don't reach for them all that often because they are a little time consuming to work with. You do obviously have to work with like a lip brush and things like that. And sometimes that one extra step is just too much for me in the morning. So that's the only reason why I haven't given these more love. This next one is in the shade Hush. And Hush is just a really beautiful, light, creamy pink. Super, super pigmented. A little dot of these goes a really long way. The only other thing that is kind of aggravating about these is that if you haven't used them in a while, a lot of oil will come out because they do almost feel like an oil paint on your lips. So they can get a little bit messy, but I love the colors. They're so beautiful. They're so fully pigmented. So I am going to be holding on to the both of these. So diving into my lipsticks, I have these first two and these are by Sephora. This first one is in the shade R24 and this one is in the shade R17. So this one is R24. This is obviously a true deep plum, kind of like a black plum color. I do feel like I have other things like this. I like the formula of this over the Wet n Wild one. I'm thinking of a Wet n Wild lipstick that I have that looks very, very similar to this. And if you guys watch that video, you probably know what I'm talking about. It's kind of like a deep, dark black eggplant color. I do like something that's more of a matte type of formula versus something like this that has a little bit of shine and sheen. I can just see this getting everywhere if I use it. I am super, super accident prone, so trust me, if anyone would get this everywhere, it would be me. So that's the only reason why I'm gonna go ahead and let this go. I do feel like I have other colors that look very similar to it, and I prefer more of a matte formula for more of these kind of deep shades. This next one is R17. This is just my kind of color. It's a rosy pink, but it's got a mauve tone to it. And it's a little bit more on the medium side. It's really, really nice. I love the pigmentation and the texture of these lipsticks. They're very smooth. They have a little bit of a sheen to them. They obviously have great color payoff as well. So if you haven't already checked out the Sephora makeup section, I highly recommend it. I always find little random hidden treasures in there. So. Definitely worth checking out, and I am going to hold on to R17. This next one is by NARS, which I am completely obsessed with this lipstick. It makes me not even want to use it because it's so pretty with like the embossed logo on there. Oh my gosh, so freaking cute. And this one is in the shade Anita. I love this color. I feel like it's really unique. It's almost like an orange nude. It's like a rose and an orange tone mixed together. It's so pretty. This also has a little bit of a satin type of finish. It's not super mattifying, but I love the coverage of the Audacious lipsticks. I was never a fan of those first NARS lipsticks that came out. I never felt like they showed up on me, but the Audacious lipsticks I think are absolutely gorgeous. There's another one that I have and I think it's either in my handbag or my vanity and I love that one as well. So I'm definitely going to hold on to Anita. This next one is by Smashbox and it's in the shade Honey. And don't judge these lipsticks based on how unused they are. Obviously, there's a lot of things in here that have been barely used, but that doesn't speak to how much I like them. It just speaks to my laziness. So please don't judge it on that. I do like a lot of these colors. I just have barely used them. And Honey is more of a warm honey color. I think that's absolutely perfect. It's definitely more on that tan orange side. I feel like this is something that would look so beautiful if you have a tan in the summertime with the bronze and the glow. So I absolutely love this. This is another one with kind of a sheen type of finish. 
So I am going to hold on to Honey as well. This next one is by Makeup Forever, and this is their Rouge Artist Intense in the shade 23. I really, really love the Makeup Forever formula for their lipsticks. They're really long-lasting, and they just have such great pigmentation. So I'm definitely going to hold on to this. For warning, guys, you're probably going to see a lot of nude lipsticks. They're my favorite, so... Sorry about that. This one is by the company Lipstick Queen, and I picked this up from Ulta probably around a year ago. And this one is in the shade Peach Nude Sinner. And there's that one. So you can see it's a little bit more unique than the other ones. I want to say that it actually reminds me a lot of the Makeup Forever color. It just has a little bit of a deeper, or I'm sorry, different finish. It seems to be more satiny where the Makeup Forever is more of a matte. And the Lipstick Queen one seems to be a little bit deeper in tone as well. So I really do love this. Again, I love my nudes, so I am going to hold on to this one. Lipstick Queen lipsticks have amazing formula. If you guys have not tried them out in Ulta, they are are so smooth they glide on so easily they don't feel like stiff on the lips or anything they just feel really comfortable and um, just really creamy and smooth so highly recommend this brand for lipsticks this other one technically isn't a high-end brand but it's from Victoria's Secret here is the shade scrumptious and this one is just more of like a true peach like a warm peach color really really pretty looks a lot like everything else I know but I am gonna hold on to it because I do really like it this next one is by Too Faced, and this is in the shade Naughty Nude. No surprise there. Another nude lipstick, and there's Naughty Nude. So this one is actually a little bit more on the sheer side. It almost comes out like a really glossy type of formula. I do think that this is really pretty, but I am going to put it in the maybe pile. I feel like it looks very similar to everything else, and I'm just not crazy about the fact that this isn't quite as pigmented. I'm going to go ahead and have to test this one out, but... Right now, I'm kind of leaning towards no. Oh, oh, wrong cap. Hello. That's better. Next one is this one by YSL, and this is their Rouge Volupt in the shade 26. And this is their peachy color. And there it is there. This is the smoothest, most silky lipstick of life. If you guys own one of these, then you know what I'm talking about. But it's almost kind of like a double-edged sword with this one because the formula on these are really silky and luxurious. But at the same time, because they're so silky, I find that these are not the most flattering on my lips because they settle into the fine lines really, really easily. So as much as I like the color, I'm actually not a fan of the formula on my actual lips. But I do think I'm going to hold on to it. It's my only YSL lipstick, and it is a really pretty color. It's just like a very warm, kind of strawberry peach. So this next one is by Lorac, and this is in the shade Nude Scene. So this is just kind of like a standard pinky brown nude. Really, really pretty. It's not as heavily pigmented as, say, like the Makeup Forever one. It is a little bit more on the sheer side, but still a really pretty lipstick. Love the color, so I will hold on to that as well. This is another one by Lorac, and this is in the shade Premiere. And these Lorac lipsticks do have SPF 15 in them as well, which I love. And there's Premiere. So Premiere is a little bit more of a rosy nude. It has a hint of mauve in there, but it's more on like the light to medium tone. Really, really pretty, and I do think I'm going to hold on to this one as well. This next one is by Benefit, and it is in the shade Jingling. And let's swatch. So there's Jingling. Jingling is a super, super creamy formula. A lot came out at once when I swatched it. And it's just a really beautiful, creamy, rosy pink. On me, this would probably just look like a straight pink. So I'm actually going to put this one in the maybe pile as well. I like the formula. It's really creamy, but it's actually too a little bit messy. So not crazy about that, but... That one also goes in the maybe pile. This next lipstick is by Topshop, and I know, I know, the packaging is so gross. This used to be entirely white. Don't ask me what happened. I don't know if the cap fell off of another lipstick or what went wrong, but it turned into like a total disaster. But this one is in the shade Frared, and I'll go ahead and swatch it here. So there's that color. This is another one of those beautiful orange reds that I cannot get enough of, obviously. The finish of this is a little bit more on the glossy side versus some of the other ones that I've shown you. I know in my previous video I showed you some matte versions that look very, very similar to this, but I do like that this has a little bit more of a sheen to it. It's almost like a mixture of Siren from Revlon, which was that more sheer kind of orange, and then the 
like matte one from Wet n Wild. It's kind of like a mixture of the two of those. So really, really pretty. If you're not into like a straight matte orange red lip and you also feel like Siren is a little bit too sheer, this is actually probably right up your alley. So really, really do love that and will hold on to it. Next, I have this lipstick by Dior. This is the Dior Attic Lipstick in 465. It's obviously a little beat up and I think this is just like a sheer pink. Yeah. That's what it looks like. So this is basically just like a lip balm to me. It's like a tinted lip balm. It doesn't actually look all that different than my e.l.f. lip glow, but this has a little bit more of like a sweet carnation pink tone to it. It is really pretty. Um, so I am gonna go ahead and hold on to it just for the summertime, just to kind of have in my bag if I wanna have a little bit of color and moisture on my lips. Next, I have this cream lip stain by Sephora, and this is in the shade 12. And it is absolutely gorgeous. It is so pigmented and creamy. This is just like a deep, vibrant, violet orchid kind of shade. It's really pretty. It's nothing too bright on the lips. I think this is really, really gorgeous. To me, this is like the perfect purple lipstick that I can pull off. I'm not a huge fan of those like lighter lavender shades. I don't feel like they look good on me, but something like this with a little bit more of like an orchid color to it, I think is gorgeous. So. I am definitely gonna hold on to this. I've worn it a bunch of times, especially during the summer of 2015, and I know I loved it. Next is this lip pencil by Bite, and this is in the shade Quince. This one I wasn't that crazy about. I wanted it to look more like this. Like, do you see how this is more of like a vibrant fuchsia, and then this comes out a little bit more of like a deep red? But yeah, I was a little bit disappointed with the color, which is weird because I swatched it in store and really liked it, but once I got it home, I wasn't as crazy about it. So I do really recommend Bite Pencils, though. I think the formula on these are to die for. They're some of the smoothest lipsticks I've ever felt in my whole life, so I love them. I just wasn't as crazy about this color on me. I also have these two Urban Decay Super Saturated High Gloss Lip Colors in the shade Love Child, and yes, I have two in the same shade, but to my defense, one was one that I actually bought on my own originally, and then the other one was actually one that was given to me as a gift. It is a really pretty kind of glossy, pink color. It's just like a medium tone pink with a little bit of warmth in there. This is one of those colors that's just so easy to swipe on your lips. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to worry about being super precise. It's just kind of an easy color to have. So I am going to go ahead and hold on to one and then give the other one away. Next, I have these three lip pencils by NARS. And I know right off the bat, I'm probably going to be holding on to all three of these because I love the NARS lip pencils. They're all matte and I love that they all come in a pencil form. So it makes it Super easy to apply. This first one is in the shade Cruella. This next one is in Orange Square, which is another one of those orangey reds. I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely love these. If you kind of see the one in comparison to Topshop, do you see how this is a little bit more sheer where this is a little bit more opaque? So I actually kind of want to compare this to a Wet n Wild lipstick that I have. I'm actually gonna grab that right now. I just wanted to pull out Pretty Persimmon from Wet n Wild. I know. It's super beat up, but I just want to compare it to Red Square. So these are actually pretty easy dupes for one another. So if you don't want to buy the lip pencil from NARS in Red Square, definitely go for the Wet n Wild lipstick in the shade Purdy Persimmon. They're pretty much the same color. And Purdy Persimmon is actually a little bit more vibrant than this one. So quick dupe on that. Okay, so moving on, this last NARS pencil I have is in the shade train blue okay i know that's probably not the right way to pronounce it but that's how i'm gonna say it today and there's what that one looks like this one is one that looks actually a lot like this but you can see that this has more of like a matte type of finish which is something i prefer i do really like this lip pencil it's not one i reach for all the time but I do love how it looks on the lips. It's really, really deep and dark and just kind of dramatic looking. So I am gonna hold on to this one as well. Next, I have this little mini lip pencil from Buxom. This is their Big and Healthy Lipstick in the shade Sydney. This is one of those lip crayons that you put on your lips and it kind of makes your lips feel a little bit tingly and minty. And there's what it looks like. It's just like a kind of standard peachy nude color. Really, really pretty. And again, I love the feeling of this on my lips. It does have like a nice minty, refreshing feeling. So absolutely love this and we'll hold on to it. Next, I have these two little mini lip liners from Sephora. These are their lip liner to go. 
and I have the shade 13 and 05. And 13 is a nude pencil, but it's a little too light for me, unfortunately. And there's what it looks like. I do still think I'm gonna hold on to it because I think this would make a really pretty all over lip color, but as a lip liner, it's just not deep enough. I do think there's one that's a deeper color than this one, so I might have to check that one out because I do love these little mini pencils. Such a smart idea, especially if you're somebody that carries smaller handbags like myself. Um, it's nice to have something like this that you can easily throw into like a smaller handbag or even like a clutch or something like that and it's not going to take up a bunch of space or stick out or make the cap fall off or anything like that. And then this next one is 05. And there's that. This one is super pretty. It's just a deep plum burgundy color. Really, really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to the both of these for now. I have a couple of Makeup Forever lip liners. I have 18C and 3C, and these are their Aqua Lip Lip Liners. These are the most long-lasting lip liners of life. If you want something that's gonna stay in place all day long, these are gonna be your best friend. So again, that's 18C. It's just kind of like an opaque orange type of color. This is a little bit more of my kind of lip liner. If you see it in comparison to the Sephora one, this one is a little bit lighter, where this one is kind of like my perfect lip liner shade. It's a little bit of like a deeper mocha brown. Really beautiful, goes with everything. Pink lipsticks, peach lipsticks, nude lipsticks. I love this one, so I will hold on to the both of those. I have two lip liners by MAC, and I have the shades Hover, and Brick. My MAC lip liner collection is really, really weak, and I'm actually looking to pick up more since I really do love MAC lip liners. I think I just kind of got distracted with other things, but I definitely want to pick more up. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know down in the comments below. So this is Hover, which is obviously more of a brown-based type of lip liner, and then this is Brick, which is more of a true brick red. So I do love the both of these, and I'm going to hold on to those as well. I have another lip liner, and this is by the company Prestige, which you can find inside of Bed Bath & Beyond. And this one is in the shade Poppy. I know I am 100% holding on to this. This was like my lip liner bestie all throughout the summertime. Anytime I was wearing these more kind of vibrant red shades, this was the perfect lip liner for that. I really do love this one and will hold on to it as well. Next is this little lip liner by Bobbi Brown in the shade Naked. I feel like Bobbi Brown just gets it in the nude department for me. I always find that their lipsticks and lip liners are the most flattering for my skin tone because they're a little bit on the warmer side. And there is Naked. This is just like a standard kind of toffee colored brown. Really, really pretty. We'll definitely hold on to that. These last four ones are by NYX. I actually have a ton of other NYX lip liners that I keep at my vanity, and my vanity cleanout is coming very, very soon, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But the four that I do have here are in the shades. I'll just go one by one. This is in 816 Fuchsia. Here is the shade Fuchsia. It's so pretty and super, super vibrant. I highly recommend NYX lip liners. They have such a giant variety of colors. They may not have as wide of a variety if you go inside of like Ulta or something like that, but if you do check out the NYX website, they have like a million and one shades. Every color you can think of, they have a lip liner for it. This next one is in the shade Bloom. It's really, really pretty. It's definitely got more of a purple tone than the Fuchsia one. Fuchsia is more of a hot pink Fuchsia where um, Bloom is a little bit more of like an orchid color. Then this next one is Plum. And do you see how easy these come out? They're so pigmented, really, really nice. So Plum is obviously just a standard deep plum color. It's not as deep as I personally like. I don't know if I have any lipsticks that would necessarily look good with this, so um, I am just gonna hold on to it. Who am I kidding? I mean, I still think it's really pretty. I just don't know how many lipsticks I have that are gonna go with it, but I'm willing to kind of experiment with it a little bit more. So these ones were more of like their standard lip liner pencils, and this last one is the NYX Retractable Lip Liner Pencil. And this one is also in the shade Plum. And let's see what it looks like. And there's Plum. These ones are a little bit more creamy than the pencil. They come out a little bit easier, so if you like a creamier lip liner pencil, these ones are definitely the way to go, but this is also a gorgeous, deep, purple plum kind of color, so 
I'm also gonna hold on to that as well. Okay, so this is a final overview. This is everything that I'm keeping. These are my maybes, and this one I'm letting go of. I know, I know. This one was not as easy for me, but in my other videos, especially like in my lip balms and tints and glosses, I did get rid of a lot of stuff, so I don't feel too bad that I'm holding on to most of this because I do love all of it. After this, I'm going to be going into decluttering my primers, my skincare, and then I'm finally getting to my vanity, so please be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already, and please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it if you did enjoy it. Other than that, thank you guys again so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Actually, I lied. I also got rid of this one. I forgot to mention. This is the Sephora one, so got rid of two.